a freight forwarding firm charges $1.50 a kilogram plus a delivery fees of $35 to transport a shipment of refrigerated goods from Palmerston North to South Island. So this is, we're talking about, um, this Palmerston North is a town in North Island in New Zealand. And this firm, which transports refrigerated goods, charges $1.50 a kilogram plus 35 uh, to transport the uh, goods from Palmerston North to South Island. Let's see with the total cost of the ship of the shipment in dollars and W be the weight of goods in kilogram. Complete the following equation. So let's first understand what the equation is telling us. So what they're saying is they're charging, they would charge $1.50 per kilogram, and they would charge 35, which is the delivery fees. So let me make up a column. Suppose W for weight in kilograms. W is the weight that you are sending, and C for cost, which is in dollars. Okay, in dollars. So let us start, say, at zero. Okay, let us start at 10 kg. So you're sending 10 kg. So 10 kg would be for every kg you have to pay $1.50. So it's 10 or $1.50 times 10. Plus 35. So that will give me 15. This is 15 plus 35, which is 50, $50. Okay, so if, if you're sending 20 kgs, it's $1.50 per kg. How many kgs you're sending? You're sending 20 kgs plus 35. So this is $1.50. So for 10 kgs, it will cost, it'll cost $15. So for 20 kgs, it will be 30 plus 35. 30 plus 35. So let me write it directly. So 30 plus 35 is 65. So I want you to look at the pattern here. If it's 30, it will be $1.50 times 30 plus 35. Okay, so so let me get the calculator out. You can use a calculator. So that is one dollar fifty times thirty plus thirty-five. Now I also want you to look at the pattern there. So this is eighty. So can you see this is increasing by how many kgs? This is increasing by ten kgs. This is also increasing by ten kg. What's this increase? This is plus fifteen. And this is also plus 15. Can you see a pattern there? So following the same pattern, if it is 40 there, if we are sending 40 kgs, this is 10 kgs. It's increasing by 10. So even without doing this calculation, I can see the pattern. I have to add 15, which is 95. So does it make sense? So let us check that. So 1.5 times 40 plus 35. So let me use a calculator. So 1.5 times 40 plus 35, which is 95. It does make sense. Okay, so let us do finish with 50. When you have sending 50 kgs, you will do 1.5 times 50 times 50 plus 35. So following the same pattern. So 95 plus 15 is 105. So let us graph this. I want to understand. I want you to understand the pattern. So this is increasing by 10, and this is increasing by 15. The same pattern is following. This is plus 15. This is plus 15. So the equation here. Yeah, so let's write the equation. So the equation is. It is 1.5 times the weight. W stands for weight plus 35, not 32, plus 35. I don't know why I wrote 32. So this is plus 35. So let us graph this. So what does this mean? When it is 10 kg, so this is your weight. So this is the x-axis, which is weight, and C for cost. On the y-axis, you're taking the cost. So when it's 10 kg, it is $50. So this is 50. 
So when this is 1050, when it's 20, it is 65. So this is 60, and so 65 would come here. Okay, when it's 30 kgs, it is 80. So it is 80, yeah. And when it's 50, it's 105. So this is, oh, 40 is 95, sorry. 40 is 95. Yeah, and then it's 50 is 105. Uh, am I right? No, uh, this is wrong. It's not following the pattern. So this is for 50 kgs. 110 yeah so it's good to check always check so this is 110 it comes here now if you draw a straight line if you draw a straight line you can join these points okay so the equation of this line you can say c is the cost which is your y-axis is 1.5 times w plus 35. So use your logic and tell me if it is zero, if you put zero in place of W, so when it is C, when you ask, when of course the answer doesn't make sense though, but graphically when you're not sending, suppose even if suppose you're sending uh, uh, say zero kg, you start with basically what's this saying when you're starting, you start with 35 kg, that's what I mean. So you're starting at that's a delivery cost. So though the graph in this situation doesn't make sense, but mathematically it does. Okay, so this is here. So I can extend that. Suppose if you if I highlight this and uh, catch the tail, and can you see it's meeting at 35. Okay, so that's the equation. So C cost is 1.5 W times W plus uh, 35. Okay, so let's read the next question. How much would it cost to transport 200 kgs? Okay, so the question is when W is 200, when W is 200 kg, what's the cost? So let's write the equation again. So C is 1.5 times weight plus 35. So I uh, I know W is 200, so I'm going to place 200 in place of W, so which is 1.5 times 200 plus 35. So let me get my calculator out. So this is 1.5 times 200 plus 35, which is $335. So when you're sending 200 kgs, you're paying $335. Okay, let us look at, let us scroll up. How many kilograms of refrigerated goods can be sent if a company can afford only $580? Okay, so let's write the equation again. So C is 1.5 times W plus 35. So my question is, if the total cost that a company can afford is five eighty dollars. The question is how much, how many kilograms can the company send, and you want to round it to the nearest kg. Okay, so this is what the question is. I'm going to put this in place of W. Sorry, in C. So I can say five eighty is equal to one point five times W plus thirty five. So now I have to take away 35 from both sides, so 580, take away 35 is 1.5 W, 1.5 times W. Okay, this is times, okay, I didn't write the times there. So this is 580, take away 35, which is 545. So the, this step is 545, is equal to 1.5 times W. Okay, this is the times there, so I didn't write that. So next step is I want to divide both sides by 1.5. 5, so 545 divided by 1.5 gives you W. Okay, so again, get my calculator out. 545 divided by 1.5 is 
363.3. So I'll round this down, or not round down, so I'll keep this. So let me write the answer. So this is W. Exact weight is 363.3 recurring. This is 0 0.3, 0 0.3 recurring. So if you round this to the nearest kg, that is almost 363 kgs. So that's your answer. That's how you do it. And you can also do this on a calculator, but I think this is enough.